Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Lux Review with Shopify. So with the Lux Review app, you'll be able to add reviews to your store right away using AliExpress. So you'll be able to import AliExpress reviews. You'll also be able to accept reviews from customers of your store. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and I'll be showing you how to do this step by step. So the first thing you want to do is go over to apps on the left hand menu option. Then from there you're going to tap on app and sales channel settings. And I want you to tap on Shopify app store in the top right hand corner. After doing that you'll be redirected to the Shopify app store. You're going to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and you're going to type in Lux Review. After doing that, you're going to tap on Lux Product Reviews and Photos, then tap on Install. After you have selected Install, you'll be redirected to a new page. Once on this new page, you'll now be able to complete installation. So you're going to tap on Install right here. After you have tapped on Install, you'll be redirected to the Lux dashboard. So you can see the Lux dashboard is loading up. What you'll need to do also, you want to open a second tab and you're going to go onto AliExpress. And from there, you're going to search for the product that you would like to add reviews for or the products that you would like to add reviews for. And by the way, if you haven't added any products to your store as yet, a good platform to use for completely free is Sub Drop Shipping. As with sub drop shipping, you'll be able to add AliExpress products in no time. All you'll need to do once you have installed the app is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on find products. Then from there, you can tap on imported products and you could simply go onto AliExpress, copy the URL right here. After you have copied the URL, you'll go back into sub drop shipping, paste the URL, then tap on import products and the product will be added to your store after you have tapped on list it to store. So that is how to add products to your store in no time. Now let's go back to Lux. Once you have been redirected to the Lux dashboard, as you can see right here, you will tap on use Lux free. After you have tapped on use Lux free, you will be redirected to this page. So all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on reviews. After selecting reviews, you'll see the option right here, collect reviews, as you can see, managing new reviews, you can do that manually as I was saying earlier. You can tap right there and you can turn on auto publish new reviews if you want, or if you would like to review them before, or if you'd like to only accept five star reviews, you can do that. I'll show you how to set this up later on but you may mostly be interested at the moment in importing AliExpress reviews. So let me show you how to do that. You are going to tap on import reviews right here. After you have tapped on import reviews, what I want you to do at the top right here, you can see that my bookmark dashboard is not showing and you'll need that to be showing to add the Lux plugin. So all you'll need to do is go over to the top right hand corner tap on the three dots. Then from there, I want you to hover over bookmarks and lists, and you're going to tap on show bookmarks bar. So you can see the bookmarks bar is now showing. Then you're going to simply tap on import to locks, and you're going to drag and place it. So you can see in the top left hand corner, I now have the import to locks icon. And all I would need to do is tap on it go to AliExpress and it is going to open up an AliExpress tab and from there you can type in the name of the product that you would like to add reviews for. Now I have already opened up a page that I would like to add reviews for. So this is the product that I have installed on my store. So I'm going to tap on import to locks. After you have tapped on import to locks, you're going to tap right here where you see select product from and you'll see your store URL. Then you can tap on the product name. Then how much reviews would you like to import? You can see reviews to scan. 
you can select 20 reviews or 100 reviews. And would you like to scan or import all ratings or only 5 star ratings or 4 stars and up? You can select any one of these options. After you have done that, you can select whether you like to import reviews from only United States, United Kingdom or all countries. So you can select that right there. And you can also select the language that you would like to translate it to. And would you like to only import reviews with photos? So you can do that. Or would you like to fetch the most recent reviews? You can select any one of these options. After you're finished, you're going to tap on preview and import. Then from here, all you'll need to do now is simply tap on import. And you can continue reading the reviews and tapping on import. If it is a case that you don't like a review, you could tap on reject. Then you can tap on import to continue adding as you can see right here. And you'll be able to add up to 20 reviews if you had chosen to scan 20. But if you had chosen to scan 100, you'll be able to add even more. So you'll continue tapping on import. After you have done that, you're going to go back into your Shopify store. Now once in our Shopify store, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on online store. After tapping on online store, you'll be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on customize beside the theme that you're using. After you have selected customize, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see app embeds. That's the third icon from the top left hand corner. And from there you want to ensure that you have enabled Lux Core Script as you can see right here. After you have done that, you are going to tap on home page. Then you are going to select products page and select default product as we are going to be customizing our product page. Then you're going to go back over to the top left hand corner and you're going to tap on the first icon that says sections. After tapping on sections, you can quickly scroll down and you can see how our product page looks at the moment. So you can see that I also have the review star widget right here. So if I were to tap right there, you can see the reviews that I've added thus far. Also, if you would like to know how to add this cookie pop-up on your store, you can watch a tutorial that I've done earlier. So I can tap on got it right there. You can see the reviews right here. And to add other locks options, all you'll need to do is scroll down. Then from here, you can see that I've added the rating widget also. And to do this, all I did was tap on add block, then scroll down. And you can see all of the locks features. So you have the cards corsal, the gallery corsal. You can also add on-site referral widget. And you can also add the product reviews, ratings widget. Any one of these you would like to add, you can simply tap on them. And by scrolling down, you can see right here, this is where the photos will be displayed. And scrolling down, you can see the ratings widget right there. So any one of these features that I wanted to add, I could simply tap on it to add it. Now, if you would like to customize it even further, you can simply tap on close right there. Let's close out of it. And we are going to go back into our main dashboard. All you'll need to do is scroll down. Then you'll tap on manage reviews. After tapping on manage reviews, you can tap on display reviews. After selecting display reviews, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, if you'd like to customize how any one of these look, so depending on which one of the features from locks you have added, you could tap on customize. So if it is a case that you wanted to add the pop-up widget, you could tap on activate to add the pop-up widget, or you can select customize to change how it looks. And also you can see that I have added the reviews sidebar, remember? So if I wanted to customize it, I could tap on customize to change the appearance. And you can also add the locks trust badge if you want. And you can see the different locks features that you can add to your theme right here. And with any one of these, you can quickly tap on customize to customize it. 
you can also tap on manage reviews then from there you can scroll down and you'll be able to see all of the reviews that have been added to your store as you can see right here these are all of the reviews and if it is a case that you would like to unpublish a review you can tap right where you see publish then select unpublish to remove it and if you would like to import more reviews you can tap on import reviews right there and you can simply do the same process again or you can import from spreadsheet as you can see right here by tapping on import and you can tap on import from supported apps so for example you can see the different supported apps right here judge me shopify product reviews and so on hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe